over the years it's been clear to me that um, it's it's an effort for services to work with families and that the resource issue becomes an issue again and and that resources don't be, don't be allocated to that I think that there's two areas that families um, that fam that it's important to respond to families and one is in their own right and that is about the, you know, dealing with the issue that families have much higher rates of anxiety and depression and that the impact um, much, they have financial um, impact, they have social alienation, they have a whole raft of issues, trauma that, that, um, that happens when somebody in their family becomes unwell. Um, and I think that those issues can be responded to by um, by doing or referring to a well-constructed family education program such as Wellways or any of the other um, researched, well-done programs that are around. I think the other issue is the role that families play in recovery, assisting the recovery of a person with a mental illness and I think that shouldn't be dependent on funding. I think that that is um, when somebody comes into a service to um, have a role of um, assessing whether the family needs what support they need and referring them off and also letting them know about how to access that person in a service or who is their main person or um, giving them information about mental illness and involving them in planning if that's appropriate and if that's something the person with a mental illness is wanting to do. Um, should just be mandatory practice.